is Dwayne Cates. He's a criminal defense attorney. And Wendy Patrick, she's a prosecutor, Newsmax columnist. For the purposes of this segment, Dwayne's going to represent the customer who has an issue with Taco Bell. And Wendy is going to represent the fast food chain. Welcome to you both. Dwayne, let's dive into it. The customer alleges Taco Bell overstates the amount of beef and other ingredients by at least double in a slew of items here. Again, a side-by-side -side listed in the lawsuit. Ew. You've got the advertisement there and then what? you ordered. Can you make the case, Dwayne, for the customer? Sure. I, I'm probably going to date myself a little bit, but I'm going to quote an old commercial. Where's the beef? You know, they show you a picture with beef just flowing out of it, out of the items. And then when you get it, the reality is not near what the photograph is. And so I believe that that's deceiving the customers. And, and they're going to have a jury full of people that have ordered things uh, based on a picture, and then when they got it, were so, so dis horribly disappointed by what it was when they got it. All right, now and this, I don't think that they can have a, a jury look at this. Wendy, I'll bring you into the. I mean, this reminds me of, of um, online dating, right? You see somebody online, you meet them in person. Not necessarily the same thing you saw on the picture. Did anyone else have this kind of experience? Might be just me. But either, <laughs> but either way, um, Taco Bell itself, in looking at this suit, can we show the side by side again of what is of what is shown and what the customer got? So what the customer received was on the right. Obviously, the commercials on the left, and this is what it looks like. This is how they advertise. But let's say it's the employee at Taco Bell that that potentially didn't know how to make this. Can you really hold the entire company? Any liable for that, Wendy? You know, Sean, that's exactly right. Uh, it may be true a picture is worth a thousand words, but also remember it reflects a snapshot in time. And uh, whoever made this probably is one of the people that are going to be held liable. But you know, as I review this uh, edition of Food Court, as we say, so many different, so many different chains are sued based on the same thing: great expectations. Uh, my colleague Dwayne and I grew up in the same time period, and I remember the where's the beef, and we continue to ask that because size matters, especially. If you're hungry, you certainly don't want to have this type of result. But I don't know whether this picture alone is going to have an evidence tag on it and go to the jury, because if that were true, every fast food chain that sells anything would be in trouble because you just never know what employee is going to skim. And when you talk about a class action lawsuit, I mean, that sounds good in practice, but are there going to be enough people to really make the case that Taco Bell should be held liable for false advertising? That's probably not the kind of thing that's going to fly. And Taco Bell is going to be able to respond if they even need to. Remember, a lot of these um, great sounding class action lawsuits never get out of the gate. Well, we take them up in National Report Court because it's irresistible and we can't pass on them. But you know what, Dwayne? The customer goes on. It's not just false advertising, but it's costly. They write, especially concerning now that inflation, food and meat prices are very high and many consumers, especially lower income consumers, are struggling financially. Goes on to say the promise of large portions leads low-income customers to choose Taco Bell over other restaurants that more accurately depict portions. So how does this also play into the case? Well, that's exactly right. I mean, you know, lower income people are looking for a bargain and they're looking for something. Well, everybody's looking for a bargain and everybody's looking for value in something that they purchase. And so when they compare the photos of, of Taco Bell with other companies, you know, they may say, hey, Taco Bell looks like I get a lot more for my dollar with Taco Bell. So that's that's leading them to choose Doc, Taco Bell for their for their fast food uh, meal. And it's just not fair to the consumer to, to promise them a lot and give them a little. Wendy, I want to close with you on this one and, and important to bring up. Um, by the way, I find it fascinating looking at this actual lawsuit and you got pictures of Taco Bell items in, w within this here. Uh, but it is happening. And also the plaintiff not only stopping there, th th this plaintiff has a pending suit against Mickey D's, McDonald's and Wendy's over the size of their burgers and how they match what's advertised. Does this play at all into now this lawsuit with Taco Bell, Wendy, or no? Sean, you know, obviously, I don't know whether it's enough to say it's a vexatious litigant, but it's true that if, if every fast food chain 
overstates its product, showcases its product in the best light possible. Isn't that what advertising is all about? Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, they have to deliver and it can't be false advertising. But you probably need much more than this is what Taco Bell is going to argue. And it certainly doesn't help the plaintiff's case that it looks like Taco Bell is one in a long string of defendants that are being sued. And if anything, I think its sales are going to skyrocket because a lot of people didn't recognize they brought back the Mexican pizza and some of the other beloved mm -hmm. menu items that are just going to make them more profit. All right, Wendy Patrick, Dwayne Gates, uh, we appreciate that. Thank you so much. Stick around, because we're going to have a verdict here. We're going to bring in a former Republican Georgia congressman, Doug Collins, here to play judge and jury. <laughs> congressman, I realize this might be out of your wheelhouse, but we appreciate you, you being here. You listen to both sides here. You, you've heard the argument. Uh, where did you fall in this one? Well, I just want to say thanks from the, to the defense attorney. You did the best you could with what you had, but also the defense <laughs> here. This one from Judge Collins on food court would be, it would be dismissed. This motion would be dismissed. Uh, summary okay. judgment. There is no case here. I mean, if this is true, it's about like we always say, the closest thing to heaven you'll ever get is your resume. I think this is sort of a similar <laughs> issue here. Uh, they pr take the picture best. The defense did the best they could, but no. If we get into this, there would be no advertising at all. All right. With that, National Report Court is adjourned. <laughs> Thank you all for participating Appreciate today. That. Dwayne Wendy and, of course, Doug Collins.